I'm Mary Ann McLean, and I'm a professor in the Department of Medical Technology. And I have been teaching for 34 years, and one of the biggest challenges that has always faced me is uh, engaging the students and trying to, uh, to, to get a pretty good feel without trying to read their minds of whether or not they're understanding what it is that I'm covering during lecture. Uh, one of the, uh, the things that I've tried to do in, uh, during class, of course, is, is asking questions and you always get the, the one or two students who end up being the only people who respond. And uh, I, I started using what, uh, what we affectionately call the poor man's clicker method which is to give them or have them make a set of four cards and, ha and creatively put an A, B, C, or D on the card or a one, two, three, and four. And when I ask a question, uh, ask them to hold up their card so I could look out at the class and get a little bit of a feel uh, for whether or not everybody is answering the, the question correctly. And, and if not, then I, I could address maybe what the, what the question was for that particular concept. But you're definitely not getting it from, from everybody. So when I heard of, I, I heard about the, the use of the clickers uh, that, that had been at UD, uh, but hadn't, um, hadn't at that time thought that um, the poor man's clicker seemed to, seemed to be okay. But the class that I teach is the language of medicine. And I have gone from teaching 14 students to 31 students to 72 students to this semester I'm teaching 99 students. And it's, it's even more important or even more of a challenge to get that feeling of is everybody understanding or is everybody even listening to, to what we're doing in class that I thought maybe this is the semester, this fall semester is the semester to, to try and do the clickers. And so uh, I not only decided to, to do the clickers, but to do it whole hog. And to not only use the, um, the handheld clickers, but also to, uh, to make available to any student who wanted to do it this way, to use the, uh, the web-enabled um, clicker, uh, either with their laptops, because a, a lot of students bring their laptops, or uh, to use a, a web-enabled phone. And another thing that I've done with it is I'm not using it as uh, an attendance um, monitor, although it ends up being that indirectly. Uh, but I, I also didn't want it to be uh, something that was uh, game gamey or um, you know pretend or that kind of thing. I wanted to, I wanted it to be something that had a consequence to it in their being able to, to respond to questions. So I, I gave it credit. There was a couple of uh, faculty members who, uh, who I sought their advice as I was d developing this, and, and some faculty members have included this as a, as a percentage of the grade. So I made the clicker responses 10% of their final grade, and I have the questions set up that if they um, if they get 75% of the possible clicker points, then they get the full 10% of the, of the, uh, the grade. This allows for uh, uh, not having to go through the grief of my clicker broke and, or uh, I wasn't here, uh, how can I make up those clicker points, so you don't have, don't have to worry about any of that. And, and in fact, the, the students who use the clickers, I, I based it on if they just answered. So if they answered correctly, they got an additional point. So that's almost like points in the bank in a way. I don't know if they figured this out yet, but that's like points in the bank that they could slack off at the end and not use a clicker. I don't know. Uh, so, um, but it, it's made for um, almost 100% use. I, I, haven't, I, I haven't quite uh, gotten to the point where I think it, it, everyone is using their clicker, but uh, more than not are using it. Uh, and 
I, I document there the possible clicker points and what 75% of that is so that they have an idea or they, have they reached that point or not. And just about everybody has. It would very, be very unusual for somebody not to, to have reached that yet. And they, they truly do use the, the clickers as a, a way of responding. And it, it can end up being funny moments where uh, you, you get the, the student where I'm, I'm positive. This is such a no-brainer kind of question. And and because it's a real mix of students, you have, you have students who are uh, nurses in in the class and students who are English majors. So the nurse might go, "Oh, this is a simple question," and the English major might go, "I have no idea what this is." And and so you get kind of the the chuckles of having the question be asked. And I'm positive everybody's going to get the right answer. And then you get somebody who one person who answers it wrong. And, and you kind of wonder, well, what did that person answer it incorrectly? And then you have the person who answers E when E was not a choice on the, on the screen. I haven't, I haven't gotten to the point of saying I'm going to dock some points if, if they answer that way. But in, in all, I've been happy with, um, with what the, uh, the, the, both the interaction uh, with having the students be involved during the class, uh, it's made it it's made it a nice challenge for me to come up with clicker questions that are more than just level one types of questions, ones where they where they really do need to, to think and, and to to incorporate the concept in an actual case study. I asked the students after about the first five classes. Uh, just, just that they just responded yes or no or, or whatever, uh, whether or not the, their use of the clickers interfered with their learning, and they said no. Uh, if, it, if they liked, if they wanted the, uh, the questions to be harder, and of course they said no, and they laughed at that. And uh, if they thought that case studies would be a good way of of using the, um, of incorporating the clicker technology, and, and it was about half and half. So there, there are definitely students who, who look at it as an easy way of, of getting a grade. Uh, and, um, but I, I'm happy with the, with the use of the clickers. I'm, I'm delighted that I did it. I'm definitely going to keep doing it. And one aspect of this that was, that was new for me uh, was that students could either choose to use the handheld clickers or they could opt to use either their laptop or a web-enabled phone to, uh, to do what's the, the web clicker idea. And I think I had about seven students who are, who are uh, currently doing it as a web clicker idea. And I, I haven't specifically asked them uh, if it's been uh, well, actually, I have asked them, and I got one response back, but I, I haven't gotten response from everybody. But the one student uh, who did respond said that the web clicker works moderately well and is very responsive most of the time. However, it freezes sometimes, making it difficult to submit answers to questions. So, uh, you know, who knows if that's the service or uh, one, one thing that does happen when you stop, because uh, each question has a timer, and when you stop the timer, there's a little red box that says uh, uh, waiting a few seconds to gather uh, any online answers. And, and that might take maybe three or four seconds before that disappears and then you can show the, uh, the final response. So it, it doesn't, I don't know what that freezing thing is, is, is all about, but I haven't had any students come up to me and say this is the lousiest thing that I've ever done and I, I'd never want to do it again and it's, you know, please stop doing it. So I, I, for, the, for the benefits of having more student interaction, getting, getting a feel for whether or not the students are understanding the, the concepts as we're going through the class, uh, because a lot of the language of medicine is, is truly memorization. It's, it's learning a new language. But especially with the, uh, with the pathologies associated with the different body systems, I can incorporate more case studies that pull in the medical terminology uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a practical way. And those end up being the, the cases I think that uh, I'm going to be developing more of as, as time goes on. I even made this, uh, I have some teaching assistants, and I made it be an exercise for them to go through the medical terminology textbooks that I have 
and to pick out the, um, the cases that are in those textbooks that would make good clicker questions. So I'm, I'm hoping to, to develop that uh, in, in future classes. So uh, I'm, I'm committed and anybody who has any questions, I'd be happy to, uh, to give uh, both maybe some ideas and some encouragement because it, it definitely worked for me.